Hello children, in previous session we have discussed solution of a quadratic equation by various methods. Now we are going to learn about the verbal problems. Children, verbal problems are very important for examination point of view. These problems carry usually three marks. So I will show that some example. Example 1, the sum of squares of two consecutive even numbers is 340. Find the numbers. Now, which is the unknown, we have taken as the variable. Let the consecutive even numbers be x and x plus 2. Then, according to that question, the sum of squares of two consecutive even numbers is 340. According to that question, x square plus x plus 2 whole square equal to 340. Then simplify x square then using the identity x plus 2 whole square as x plus y whole square equal to x square plus 2xy plus y square. Apply the identity here. x plus 2 whole square expansion is x square plus 4x plus 4 equal to 340. Now simplify x square plus x square is 2x square 4x as it is plus 4 transform 340 to LHS it become minus 340 equal to 0. Now 2x square 4x subtract plus 4 minus 340 it is minus 336 equal to 0. Now all the terms are the common as 2 so each and every term divided by 2 will get x square plus 2x minus 168 equal to 0. This is the time of year to factorize by using the splitting the middle term. x square plus 14x minus 12x minus 168 equal to 0. Now x is a common factor of these two term that x is the x plus 14 minus 12 is the common then minus 12 into x plus 14 equal to 0. Now each and every factor compare with equate with 0 x plus 14 equal to 0 therefore x equal to minus 14 x minus 12 equal to 0 therefore x equal to 12 rejecting the negative value so we have to consider the positive value x equal to 12 therefore the required numbers are x equal to 12 and x plus 2 equal to 12 plus 2 is 14 understood children the required numbers are 12 and 14 Example 2, sum of the areas of two squares is 400 meters square. If the difference of the perimeter is 60 meter, find the size of the two squares. Children, it is unknown, we have to take another variable. So, let the size of two squares be A and B. That is the size of the two squares. Now, according to that question, Sum of the areas of two squares is 400 meters square. How to write this in statement? Statement to the mathematical form we will see now. The sum of the areas, areas of the square is side to side. So it becomes a square, the sum is plus, then one more square is like b square equal to 400 for the equation 1. Now, second situation is the difference of the perimeter is 60 meter. What is the perimeter of this particular? Yes, 4 into side. So, 4 is the common, the two squares are there. So, we have to take as a minus b. 4 into a minus b equal to 16. Now, a minus b equal to transform 4 to the RHS, it becomes 16 by 4 equal to 4. Now, a equal to minus b transpose to the RHS, it becomes 4 plus b order as equation 2. From equation 1 and 2, we get substitute instead of a as 4 plus b, 4 plus b equal square plus b square equal to 400. Now, using the identity, we have to expand 4 square plus b square plus 8b plus b square equal to 400. Apply the identity x plus y equal square. Then 4 4 the 16, b square plus b square into b square, 8b as it is equal to 400. Now 2b square 
plus 8b plus 16 transpose 400 into the letters it become minus 400 equal to 0 2b square plus 8b difference of 60 and minus 400 is minus 384 equal to 0 now all the three terms as the common factor is 2 so we have to divide by 2 each and every term we get b square plus 4b minus 192 equal to 0 now factorize the trinomial by splitting the middle term it become b square plus 16b minus 12b minus 192 equal to 0 the common factor of these two terms is b e into b plus 16 here common factor is minus 12 it become minus 12 into b plus 16 equal to 0 each and every factor equal to the 0 we get b plus 16 equal to 0 therefore b equal to minus 16 b minus 12 equal to 0 therefore b equal to 12 rejecting the negative value no negative value for the sides of a square so that should be rejected therefore b equal to 12 a equal to 12 plus 4 is 16 the required numbers are 12 and 16 now example 3 the diagonal of a rectangular field is 16 meter more than the shorter side if the longer side is 14 meter more than the shorter side then find the length of the sides of the field now this is the rectangular field now take let the length of the shorter side be x meter this is the shorter side that is x meter according to that question length of the diagonal equal to x plus 16 meter the diagonal is 16 meter more than the shorter side so shorter side is x more than that we have to add up plus 16 meter as it is and length of the longer side be 14 meter more than the shorter side. Shorter side is yes, then more than 14 add plus 14, x plus 14 meter. By Pythagoras theorem, this is the right triangle, then size should be x and x plus 14, the diagonal is the hypotenuse x plus 16. By Pythagoras theorem, then square of the hypotenuse equal to sum of the square of the other two sides. x plus 16 whole square that is the diagonal equal to x square plus x plus 14 whole square. Now apply the identity x square plus 16 whole square plus 32 x equal to x square here again apply the identity x plus y whole square that becomes x square plus 14 square plus 28 x. Yes. Now simplify x square plus 16 whole square is 256 plus 32 x yes. and x square plus x square 2 x yes. that should be transposed to our plus it become minus 2 x square as it is 14 square is 196 transpose to our plus it become minus 196 plus 28 x transpose to the area it become minus 28 x equal to 0. Simplify that become x square minus 2 x square is minus x square plus 32 x minus 28 x is 4 x plus 256 minus 196 is plus 60 equal to 0. Now each and every term should be multiplied by the negative term. So it becomes x square plus into minus is minus plus into minus is minus equal to 0. Now x square splitting the middle term as 6, 6x minus 10x minus 60 equal to 0. The common factor is x. x into x plus 6 minus 10 is the common factor. Minus 10 into x plus 6 equal to 0. Now we get it 0 for the two factors x plus 6 equal to 0. Therefore x equal to minus 6. x minus 10 equal to 0. Therefore x equal to 10. Again rejecting the negative value. No negative value for the sides of a rectangular field. So x equal to 10. Therefore the length of the sides of the field are 10 meter and 24 meter. One of the problems based on numbers, fractions, time, distance and speed. We already discussed about the numbers. Now we are moving to that the fractions. The example 4, the numerator of a fraction is 3 less than its denominator. If 2 is added to both the numerator and 
we have to find the original fraction. So we have to take let the denominator be x, yes, then the numerator is x minus three. The numerator of a fraction is three less than its denominator. Denominator has to be x. Yes. So x minus three is the numerator. So the fraction b x minus three by x. By the given condition, the new fraction is if two is added to both the numerator and denominator. The original fraction is x minus three by x. So the new fraction is added to on both the denominator and numerator. So x minus three plus two by x plus two. It becomes minus three plus two is minus one. That is x minus one. By x plus two. Now, according to the question, now sum of the new fraction and original fraction. The original fraction is x minus three by x plus the new fraction is x minus one by x plus two is twenty nine by twenty. The condition had given. So simplify this. Take the LCM. LCM is x into x plus two. Now x is getting cancelled. Makes x plus two into x minus three plus x plus two into x plus two get cancelled. X into x minus one equal to twenty nine by twenty. Now take the product of the y and the y and we will get x square plus two x minus three x minus six. Now take the product of y and the y and we will get x square minus x by here also multiply y and the y and we will get x square plus two x. Simplify the numerator. We get x square plus x square equal to x square plus 2x. Here minus 3x is there. Here minus x is there. To add up minus 3x and minus x will give minus 4x. Minus 4x plus 2x is minus 2x. Minus 6 by x square plus 2x equal to 29 by 20. Now cross multiply. We get 20 into 2x square minus 2x. Equal to 29 into x square plus 2x. Now multiply 20 into 2 is 40 x square plus 2 into minus is minus 20 into 2x is 40x plus 2 into minus is minus 20 into 6 is 120. Now transpose this. All this equation has to be become minus 29 x square it becomes minus 29 x square plus 2 into 29 x is minus 28. x equal to zero. Now simplify. We we'll get 40 x square minus 29 x square will give 11 x square minus 40 x minus 28 x. Should we add up minus 28 x minus 120 equal to zero? Consider the trigonometry. We get 11 x square minus 110 x plus 12 x minus 120 equal to zero. Chandra. The numerator and denominator. It's not easy for you. You have to apply it here. Now I apply the factorization. So 11x is the common. 11x into x minus 10 plus 12 is the common. For this two term, 12 into x minus 10 equal to zero. X minus 10 equal to zero. Therefore, x equal to 10. 11x plus 12 equal to zero. Therefore, x equal to minus 12 by 11. Again, ignore the negative value. So x equal to 10. Therefore, the denominator is 10. Hence, the numerator is x minus 3 equal to 10 minus 3 equal to 7. Therefore, the required fraction is 7 by 10. This is very important problem. You have to learn well, children. Example 5. The product of the next age in years 5 years ago and his age 10 years later 16. Determine The nice present age. Now, which is the unknown, the present age of the nice. So we have to take as x years. Let the present age of the nice be x years. Now, five years ago, his age it became x minus five years. I will give simple example. Give us age. Now, he is fifty. What is the what is give us age? Five years back, that is. Minus five, so that is ten. 
as it is present age of current is x that is 5 years ago his age becomes x minus 5 years now 10 years later his age equal to x plus 10 your age should be now 15 years 10 years later your age should be 15 plus 10 as it is x plus 10 years then according to that question product of Then 
80 minus 50 be cancel. Remain 24 to 80 plus x minus 24 into 80 plus x get cancel. Remain 80 minus x. It become minus 24 into 80 minus x equal to 1. Then simplify this. We get 432 plus 24x minus 432 plus 24x by 18 square minus x square equal to 1. Now 432 minus 432 that will cancel. We need 24x plus 24x that will get 48x. Then cross multiply to get 80 square minus x square. Now simplify. Transform this to the index as it becomes x square plus 48x minus 324 equal to 0. x square splitting the middle term x square plus 54x minus 6x minus 324 equal to x. Now common factor is x, x into x plus 54 minus 6 is the common factor of these two terms minus 6 into x plus 54 equal to 0. x minus 6 equal to 0, therefore x equal to 6. x plus 54 equal to 0, therefore x equal to minus 54. Ignore the negative sign. The same speed cannot be negative. So, the speed of the speed is 6 km per hour. Children, this is about the very important problems for examination point of view.